Hello everyone, my name is Carl Culberson, also known as Dark Seal, and uh, this is going to be uh, Poser Post Work, uh, number 102, uh, subtitled uh, Rendering Passes. Um, render passes are um, different passes that we're going to do in any kind of 3D program that gives you total control over what is happening in your scene as far as color, reflection, uh, shadows, depth map, um, just total ultimate control over what you want to do in your your render. Um, this is something that is used commonly in uh, just about any 3D industry when they're doing uh, movies or just really in-depth detailed scenery um, for, for normal 3D images and whatnot. So this is something that is almost never used in Poser and I don't really quite know why. Um, a lot of times people will just try to get their lighting and the scenery perfect, um, you know, hit the render button and call it a day. So this series is focused on the the post work ap ap aspect of the, uh, the whole deal, um, trying to add in more detail and getting total ultimate control over your renders after the fact and this will take a little bit more work on on your side of things and it will uh, we'll have to do a, a bunch of different renders of the scene we'll have to uh, edit the materials that we're using on our characters and our um, you know pieces in the scene but it is definitely worth it and it will give you total total control all right so I'm going to go in and show you the different passes that I've done um, for this piece. This piece is, that you see in front of you is not, uh, not a finished piece at all. Uh, we're going to create the finished piece as we go. Um, and I'm going to show you the different layers or different render passes that I have done for this piece. And I will show you how to get those uh, specific um, renders done in Poser so that you can go ahead and do this kind of method yourself. Uh, if you want to take that next step in uh, in Poser rendering for your finished results then um, you should follow along and, and give it a try.